Hi, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer. I wanted to show you a couple small little enhancements to SOLIDWORKS 2012 that may really help out in the long run. I'm pretending like I'm working on this uh, excavator assembly and I'm going to go into one of the components and maybe I come in and delete a couple of the features or modify a sketch and say maybe you know mess up this part a little bit. Um, and I realize eh, I probably didn't want to do that. In the past, if you had the assembly open or the drawing open, that could cause a problem because it would really be open in memory and the assembly would still retain the changes. But now it's all 2012, I'm going to say no to the changes, but a new dialog box comes up and allows me to come in and discard any changes that I don't really want to keep for the assembly. That brings me back to the assembly uh, at the same point it was before I uh, started editing that part. It's a lot easier than having to go through and reload the component once we get back to the assembly. Another nice thing that's out there is when we come in and look at uh, different templates. In the past, if we came into file properties, and wanted to bring in a, a custom property like description, we would have to give it some sort of value for it to save, a space. A lot of times I would see people putting uh, rows of X's in, you know, that would prompt users to fill them in uh, down the line. Uh, but now we can actually leave that blank. Uh, so we'll do a description and a part number, Say OK, and just to prove that they're still there, we'll go back and look at them again. So now I can go in and say this is a part template or an assembly template or a drawing template, and the properties would be there without a value being filled in. Hey, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you enjoyed this Solver 2012. Watch the new video.